Hey, this is Kevin, you're watching wingsound.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a template for your live DJ set. This is really helpful to use the same settings, uh, the layout, and so that everything's the same way for when you, you're live DJing on the road. So uh, I hope this helps, check it out. Okay, so here's my setup um, for when I DJ. Um, this is a basic setup here. I got three tracks. My first two audio tracks will be act as my uh, a and B decks uh, as if I had turntables and uh, I have a third track uh, that I usually just drop other things in on the fly whether it's loops or um, you know sounds or anything anything that I want to do as I'm DJing so to assign those uh, in order to use the crossfitter you use this little X button down here and that'll bring up your A and B selectors and uh, for Track 1, I'll put that on A, and track 2, I'll put it on B. And um, this master crossfader will control your master out, going back and forth from A and B. Um, to set up your cue, if you had a third output on your uh, whatever controller you're using, uh, you would put the cue to that uh, for your headphones. And this would control your headphone level, and when you pressed the solo button, that would send it to your cues. Um, <clears throat> on the master track, I usually like to have uh, a couple basic effects. Uh, I use a couple different beat repeats. Um, one, you know, you need for quarter notes and one for like a triplet. Uh, and an uh, auto filter, which is always good. And uh, of course, a delay. So, am I forgetting anything? No, let me just show you how this works in action. And so uh, that's the basics on how you would uh, use these uh, one and two tracks as your A and B decks and the third auxiliary track 
And uh, if I had a third output, I would use the keys as well. Check out Kevin's new series of videos, including these titles featuring Ableton Live, available on demand at wigsound.com.